Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Mustang Motivation. And today we're gonna to be installing this power and ground cable. They are brand new from LMR, really high quality. Gonna be changing out the old corroded and just essentially beat up cables that are in there. All right, hope you guys enjoy. Just go ahead and pop the hood. Here are the cables. Here is the positive. Looks nice, brand new, all shiny. You can tell it has no corrosion on it. That's the way I like it. Here's the negative, brand new as well. It's got the connection, I believe, for the computer. This ground will be going on the fender. And this one will be connecting to the engine. But the cables that are in there, I believe the negative is original for the car for 91 just there's no telling you know what corrosion lies inside these cables they've probably seen a lot of wear and tear a lot of starts on the vehicle so these brand new cables will definitely ensure that the uh, vehicle's charging and will start properly okay we'll go ahead and remove the battery let's remove the coil cover first thing we're going to do is remove this power wire here this um, goes to the positive on the battery and connects to the left post on your starter solenoid. I have the uh, power here for my electric fan. I'll just cut that off. I'll end up recrimping a new lug terminal on it, but you can tell here it's corroded. Just look at that corrosion. A lot of these temporary AutoZone battery terminals are not the way to go. You can see here that it's already starting to rust. Any of that rust is gonna give resistance to any of the grounds or your electrical system. So let's dump these uh, AutoZone, you know, five minute repair battery terminals connectors. So we don't want these anymore. Let's get rid of it. Don't know what this is either. Don't know what that goes to, but Let's clean it up. Let's get rid of the stuff we don't need and do this proper. Okay, let's go ahead and loosen this nut on this left terminal here. That'll give us access to the positive battery cable. This. Here it is. Whoa. Holy guacamole. Oh my goodness. Let's uh, check out this positive battery terminal. Look at that. That thing is charred. How is that even creating like a current? This looks like this came off a 1920 Model T. Wow. I think the previous owner just put some cheap AutoZone quick replacement battery cable in there. This is ridiculous. That's why it's good to get under there and check. That's uh, just corrosion on one side. Corrosion's building up. It's probably like that all the way through the cable. Seems very stiff. Hey, okay, now that we got this brand new positive battery cable, let's just go ahead and put that on there. Once it's on there, let's put the nut back on and tighten it down. Got the positive battery terminal all hooked up. Got the nut tightened down. Let's go ahead and uh, trace down this negative right here. Look at this big old rat's nest here. I know uh, some of this is for my electric fan. A lot of it's just really excess cable. Didn't really know how long I needed the cable for the electric fans. But this is for my electric fan. You can tell somebody cut this wire and recrimped it. This is the one that bolts to the firewall. It goes all the way up here to where it's spliced. So that's always good to know. You don't even uh, you don't even know what's under there. Look at that. Just uh, let's see how strong the splice actually is. Hmm. It's on there pretty good, but you don't know if it's corroded on the inside. So let me just uh, unbolt some of my grounds for my fans. 
and just get a lot of this cleaned up. This is gross. This is why these AutoZone battery terminals are a bad idea. Just look at this rust underneath. You got the rust on top. This should only be temporarily used to probably get you home. I won't make the mistake of using these again, but definitely uh, try to stay away from these. Okay, we can go ahead and remove this bolt off the uh, fender support here on the side. This is the one that has this guy right here. Just disconnect here, unbolt from here. And next we will be removing this battery tray. Has one, two, and where's the third? Right here, sorry if it's hard to see, but there's three of these bolts and if they look a little rusted, just spray some PB Blast on them to get them loose. Got all three bolts removed from the battery tray. Let's go ahead and get that removed. Got the battery tray removed, and you get to look at all the goodies that are left over. Got tons of leaves and debris. Just gonna grab the shop vac, and uh, I'm gonna fire up the air compressor and just blow all this out. Make sure to tape off any of your connectors like that. Just make sure you don't get any dust in them. You don't want anything, uh, you know, messing up the connection on that. So I'm gonna clean this up really good. Planning on. Uh, you know, routing some of these wires a little different, getting a little bit of wire management going on so it's not just crazy in here. But let's get this cleaned up. All right, got that all blown out. No more leaves, dirt, and debris in there. Looking good. Okay, I have located the ground. It is right there. Somebody just ran the ground right here to the frame. I mean, it's probably... A good connection to the frame but it's just not proper I know that's supposed to be an engine ground not a frame ground and you can kind of see I know it's let me see if I can get a good view of this you can see right there it's kind of corroded behind it as well just uh, really bad power and grounds going on in this car just super just super sketch so let's remove that there Looks like it's connected to this power steering hose. Let's just disconnect that and uh, put the bolt back in. Let's get this uh, ground freed up. Here is the old negative battery cable here. I'll corrode it up. Have these cheap battery terminals, splices that previous owner has done. Just, just want to get it out of here and just start new. It's totally up to you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a little Rust-Oleum hammered black down here just to uh, help protect you know that part of the engine bay from rust now, looks so much better look at that nice and clean All right next thing I'm gonna do is jack the car up I'm gonna get underneath and find exactly where that bolt is down here <clears throat> it should be down here by the oil filter which is right there the bolt should be somewhere over here, so let's get underneath the car and find it. Now that I got the car jacked up and on a jack stand, let's go ahead and crawl underneath and try to find that ground that goes into the engine block. Right here I'm under the Mustang. This is the bolt that I have to loosen right here, and this is where I'm going to be adding my ground. This is a half an inch. Just go ahead and put your socket on there and loosen that up. Okay, once you have the bolt removed from right there, just make sure the surface is nice and clean. Grab yourself a rag with some brake parts cleaner. Get that surface all cleaned up. All right, I have the cable hooked up right there. I got it facing this direction. I have it running up towards the battery. Okay, I have the ground wire ran up here. Here it is. Ran down here from the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and clean this area up here. I have a little bit of sandpaper. Just going to hit behind that. Make sure that connection's nice and clean when I reinstall that bolt. Got that all cleaned up. Going to go ahead and install that with the bolt. Okay, let's go ahead and reinstall this connector. Where this clip goes is right here. So this will hold this wire. Just go ahead and press that in. All right, I got a lot of the cables in place. Just gonna start dressing them in, making it look nice. Now that we got most of the cables routed out of the way, still got these ones kind of loose because I'll do some final adjustments up here. 
but getting ready to go ahead and put the battery tray back in. Going to go ahead and throw a little anti-seize on the three bolts that hold the battery tray. Got the battery tray and the bolts all installed. Getting ready to put the battery in. Went ahead and put the coil cover back on. Have all my wires ran. There's my positive right there. And here's my negative. Just look how much cleaner this looks. Looks awesome. There's the alternator power cable. All we have to do next is just put our connectors on. Right here and there. Torque them down. That looks awesome. Look how clean the wiring looks. Got the negative terminal there. Got the positive terminal there. Alternator power wire. Just everything ran nice and neat. Look at that. Looks so much better. All brand new power cable. All brand new ground cable. And I said again, the alternator power cable. This thing's ready to rock and roll. Everything looks awesome. Brand new negative cable, positive cable. We have the alternator power cable. We have everything hooked up the way it's supposed to. Just gives you that good feeling. Even looks great. Everything's routed all nice and neat. So looks like this concludes another episode of Mustang Motivation.